Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is what is coming towards you from the 5th till the 12th. And I am sorry that I'm behind on getting them out. For those of you that are new, please subscribe, like the video, or leave a comment. That way I can pull in your energy as I meditate before every reading and bring more personal messages to you from spirit. You'll know that they're for you because they're resonating with you. Oh boy, that was quick. Okay, we'll take it. Vast vistas. Expand your horizons. I'm one that likes to stay in my comfort zone. So I love when that card comes out for me because I feel like it's telling me to be a little adventurous. The link to my Etsy shop is down below. And there is a sale going on on Etsy for the summer. Um, it's from now until the July 2nd. So there's 20% off of some of my readings. So you can check that out. All right. For Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Body and soul, card of five. This week there could be, it could feel like a transformation is going on within you. You're feeling lighter, more spiritual. Maybe seeing synchronicities from spirit. It's like a card of change. But the lotus flower is opening up, so it's like a transformation. You're just, it's like the best version of yourself is coming out this week. So for this week, two of clouds, shared space. So anything that you need to make a decision on, know that you're not alone. Spirit's right here. Sometimes taking that leap of faith to something new, something that's new on your horizons that you're not sure where it's going to lead you, is exactly what you need to do. Make that choice. And then spirit will shine the light down on it. Will help you with it. Beginning of the week. Seven of waves. Endurance. So you're doing good this week. For the beginning of the week at least. You have the endurance. The energy. To just get through. Whatever it is that you need to accomplish. In the beginning of the week. Starting off the week very um, powerful. High energy. Willing to keep trucking to get to the weekend. Middle of the week, strength card. Still feeling strong by the middle of the week. To go the to go the distance, the endurance to get things accomplished. It's the quiet power. It's like come in like a What's the saying? Come in like a lamb, go out like a lion. Come in like a lion, go out like a lamb. But it's like you're coming in very strong, very powerful. People might not be ready for the energy that you have this week. The end of the week, the moon, the gentle guide. Spending time with yourself, some time alone, doing some shadow work, maybe meditating, praying. You know, just cleansing yourself from the week. The energies that you had to endure the week. What you need to embrace. Whatever didn't work out. What at like the ending of the week. Embrace that the week is going to come to an end. And what you did get through. What you were able to achieve. You got through. Pat yourself on the back. And what you didn't get through. What... Um, there was an ending to be happy for that. 
Be happy that you still have time ahead past this week that you can still work on it. But anything that comes to an end this week gives you like a different light on things. If things happen for you that you didn't expect that come to an end, like maybe, you know, you received the call that you didn't get the job or that you, um, you received the call that a graduation party was canceled. Just know that there's a reason things end. It makes room for something else to take place in your life. And what you need to let go of, let go of like let go of the negative energies of the week. Let go of the stress of the week. See this water energy. For those of you that have never tried a cleansing, you know, a cleansing ritual, just, you know, go on YouTube. There's many of them. Sometimes it just involves taking a bath, but listening to the words of the video, of the message. Allowing yourself to, you know, take that deep breath. Let go of the energies of the week. Let's see specifically what the messages are. Embrace endings and allow something brand new, all that space emptied that the situation was taking up, allows all that space for something to come back to come in. Five of Raphael, yeah. So you're getting very this week, it's like you're getting very um mentally grounded over the stuff that just, you know, in your past that didn't work for you, negative energy of this week, people talking and judging other people, maybe coworkers speaking about someone else in, you know, in not a nice way. You're just getting mentally grounded over that and you're walking away from it. Archangels, Holy Spirit, why is the seven of waves here? Yeah, you're like I said, you're getting five of Ariel is the five of pentacles. You might be suffering like a financial loss, maybe in the beginning of the week, or you just don't feel like your money is where you thought it was. But it's okay. Trust that there, you know, you're always going to be okay. There's always going to be a means. Even if you feel stuck right now, there will always be a means. Spirit will provide it. But you've got that at endurance during in the beginning of the week to get over that challenge, to figure it out. Why is this strength card here, spirit, for the middle of the week? See what I mean? This is for a burial, like holding on to your finances. You're going to have the strength to overcome anything with your finances that you're having an issue with. Somebody might even offer you some help with the three of Ariel. It's going to be different for all of you. Why is the moon card here for the end of the week? Thank you, Spirit. Yep. You're going to become, like I said, mentally grounded over, over the, um, the energies around you that you know, that aren't go are flowing with your energy. Why is the ten of snow here? Yeah, you're gonna end the burdens. You're gonna end like anything that feels like stress in your life. The three of Air the three of Gabriel is um like your ships coming in. Allow things to end that weren't meant to be in your energy, weren't meant to be in your path this week. Put down the burdens. Offer them up to spirit to take. 
you will realize attitude is gratitude and there's more coming your way that you don't even know. You just got to believe that there is better for you. And the Ace of Waves, a ripple of energy. Why is that here, Spirit? The Ace of Waves, a ripple of energy. See? Where you may be having struggles, it's going to come through. Somehow, some way, it always works out. You just got to believe it. That didn't flip over though. Yeah, solutions, the temperance. It's like willing to keep trucking, keep going the distance, but allowing yourself patience and time to heal from whatever it is that isn't, you know, where you want it to be. If your finances aren't where you want it to be, if you're, you know, at work and you're determined to have a great day and then all this negative crap is going on beside you, it's you walking away from it that's allowing you that transformation to get out of that energy, to get into a healing energy for yourself. All right, let's see what else, Spirit. Well, these, these actually did flip over in my lap. This one did. This was right side up. Okay. For my Aries, please clarify this week for them, Spirit. Please clarify this week for them. Coming towards them. All right, casket. See, ending. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Allow it to happen. Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling. I'm going to put that right here because I really feel like something where you just feel like something in the beginning of the week isn't wasn't like self-fulfilling. You might have been having difficulty with it. Even though you had the endurance, you're getting through it. The beetle, good fortune, see? You're getting through it. Anything else for Aries that you can bring clarity to? Look at and look at this. Where someone is leaving your life, ending of a situation, chair filled, someone new is entering. And the bottom of the deck, honor and respect will come to you. All right. Advice from Spirit for the week. Sorry. All right, Spirit. Advice for my Aries for this week. Thank you. I'm also going to do the Strawberry Moon energies, and I always do weekend love energies, so we'll see what comes in. Well, there are going to be the next readings that come after this. All right, card of two, rose gold cosmic pool, bathe in cosmic love, soak up wisdom. You might know, like depending on, you know, how you are with your spiritual growth, you might have a connection to animals. You might even know what your spirit animal is, but it's, you know, allowing, I said like allowing the attitude is gratitude, Allow it, allowing it. Leaving it up to spirit, whatever happens this week that seems challenging. And if something brand new is offered your way, maybe to go on a short trip or to join a club at work. You know, um, something like that where you might even get advance. Like if you join something, a committee or something. And then you accept even though you really don't want to because you got to give extra time when you should be leaving at like four or five. But it requires it to be after work, this meeting. Do it. It might get you to a higher place in your work. All right, Spirit. Final message for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus.
Your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. All right, so this is your weekly energy. There is somebody new entering your life, somebody leaving, somebody new, but this person is bringing in good fortune with them. All right, take that leap of faith towards it. Broaden your horizons. It might be somebody that you least expect or you somebody that you least expect to be that soulmate friend or that soulmate connection. You know, something that brought in your horizons. You might find a great catch on the, you know, where you didn't think you would venture to. All right. Love and light. Stay safe.